everyone, Sam Mackay from Enterprise DNA. I just want to go over an interesting concept here, especially around managing your data. And it's about breaking tables up into multiple tables. So what happens, and this is exactly what happened with this particular request in the Enterprise DNA support forum. So a member has come in and they've having to deal with a huge table, a huge database table that they've taken from SQL Server. Now this is really common. It comes from is it's, it is it across is across all sort of legacy database systems where you generally will have these huge flat files of, of information, and you really want to try and clean it up inside of Power BI, and really optimize it into a model, structure it into a model, because that's what Power BI um, is um, most suited to instead of these huge flat files, right? Now I'm going to, uh, to, in this particular example, Melissa, one of our enterprise DNA experts, she provided some really good help here and directed, um, directed our member to to where um, some content where this where this is covered. But I thought I want to do just a really quick deep dive here and show you an example of what you could possibly do. Okay, so if um, we can't solve it here in the front end, what we want to do is we want to do it in a in the Power Query editor, right? But I just want to show you something here. So this is my sales table here. This is this is just from a very simple sort of sales scenario um, and what you've got to imagine here is you could have this really massive table right that you initially get you first of all want to just clean it up with some best practice tips but then you also want to try and extract out key um, lookup columns um, you might even find that some of the um, columns relate to each other and so you can bring out you can extract multiple columns and create your own table based on those so the example I have here that I'm going to work on is this channel right so you see here channel is in the fact table ultimately this could be a lookup table we could change this into a lookup table we could we could break it out um, and we could instead of having all these repeated um, names here with text etc we could break it out and add in more detail different ways to group our data different abbreviations of the name um, different combinations of um, of 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 um, two dimensions right so lots of different ways that we could ultimately filter our calculations by with another lookup table okay so let's just quickly go through it won't, won't spend too much time on it because it's, it's actually not that difficult it's just it's just a matter of knowing the possibilities right so what you want to do what you want to do is you want to first of all grab the fact table the initial fact table query right so this is just a query there's no actual sort of data being um being being sort of, um, physically brought into your model at this particular point right this is just a query once we go close and apply then yes it commits it but what we can do here is we can right click on say a big table and we can go reference okay i'm just going to go reference here Okay, then I'm going to change this name to channels, right? I'm going to change the name of my query to channels, okay? Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and highlight this particular column, and I'm going to remove other columns, okay? So now I'm starting to I'm generate a brand new table, right? Then what I can also do is I can come in here, and I can remove, I can remove duplicates, right? Remove duplicates. Now all of a sudden I have a brand new table with just three um, items in it, right? And then what I can do is I can change up this table. I can create different sort of names for it, right? So what I might want to do, and I love this particular feature here, is I might want to go column from examples. So I can go column from examples and, um, ch and I might put channel code, right? And I'm going to go HOL, push enter, then DIS, push enter, and then it gives me this brand new column on my table. And so it makes absolutely no sense to do something like this within a sales table, right? Because you're just adding data that isn't required. What you ultimately can do is you can um, commit this into your model and then join up the channel to the um, channel there. What you could also potentially do, and this is if you really, really wanted to get um, really optimized here, is you could create an index column here and then create a index column for your channel in here and then just have really simple um, just just numbers so it's sort of like one two three one two three one two three or abc abc or something like that then because it's it's and this is quite this is a little bit technical but because it's less text right it's less text inside of here 
um, then it actually saves in when 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 this actually commits this data actually commits into Power BI it actually saves as a lower memory because of the smaller um, uh, and and if it's a number as well I think because that, then it saves as a as a as a smaller byte and the model won't be as big so just a, just another small thing that you could potentially do but you could take this even further right you could add more and more columns here you could you if you had a longer list you could group them in a slightly different way based on their name you could use a switch statement ultimately so there's lots of um you know really different ways that you could you could create you know a whole model based out of one particular table here that's a whole that's this is the whole idea of this this technique right um, and you can do it more than once you don't it can be done as many times as you want you can break out say you had lots of currencies here well you could go okay I want to reference here and I want to um, break out my currencies something like that and then you know I don't really have multiple currencies in this particular example but I could go remove other columns and do similar sort of things if you say had multiple columns that all related well then you would want to say put those into a um, table by themselves you can highlight multiple columns here and remove other columns and then all of a sudden you've got you've now got a um, another way to generate a, a table really quick really quickly and then we could go and then the, the key thing though as well is just to remember that you, you when when you extract the information out of here you can you know you can remove columns as well so you don't you don't need to have the data everything in your fact table and everything in your um, and everything in your lookup table there's the, the your fact table should be as long and thin as possible and you should be creating as many lookup tables to consolidate your data as you possibly can okay so that's it basically that's all I wanted to cover and that um, this is this is common I see this I see this a lot and I just want you to think more like in model terms than just um, you know these huge flat files of data because it's just it's it's also common coming from sort of an Excel background as well because you're just so used to using these huge fat f flat files when you really actually want to what you want to do is I'll save that later on what you want to do is um, you know is create a model around it have a really long and thin um, table here with you know lots of data you know thousands of rows of data for example there's 42,000 in this particular case and then have all your filters come from your um, from your lookup tables your more condensed tables which um, have all of the information that you might want to filter by like regions customers products etc 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 okay that's all thanks everyone thanks for listening in hopefully you got a lot of out of this one i just love talking about these sort of like best practice ideas you know that i really do feel like if you can implement these they're gonna they're gonna help you a lot in your development so if you like the content definitely throw the video a like always appreciate it as always and don't forget to subscribe to enterprise dna tv okay all the best